Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. This could be the reason why silver is spiking so high. Let's explore! You know, silver's big leap upwards is something that has astounded many of us. And as much as silver has gone up lately, it's really sparked a good discussion on my videos lately. In fact, many are saying it's because of this reason or that reason. And yes, a lot of that could play a big part. But I recently read on Market Watch about uh, something else that could have caused this uh, massive spike that could be one of the biggest factors. You know, obviously, silver is following gold to a point. Both metals are up because of aggressive monetary policy, which is finance, financing the, the spending that we've seen lately. And Congress is about to embark on yet another phase of CARES Act spending, or another version. Quantitative easing to infinity continues. There's a lot going on in that regard. The deficit spending, the debt, um, and we still have not really digested what's been going on behind the scenes with the repurchase agreements back in January and through uh, even into the late latter part of 2019. However, there's more that is causing some of the increase in silver prices and that we have been noticing. Not only is the supply chain affected still, premiums are through the roof really still for silver and gold. In many different cases, it's very difficult to find a good deal out there. You know, those deals, those spot deals that we used to see so often, we become very spoiled in that regard. But nonetheless, we continue to press on uh, with the present reality that we are dealing with at the moment. And there's more that's driving um, uh, silver prices uh, than just the gold. Now uh, we have, a, and someone had mentioned this, actually several people have mentioned this in the comments, but uh, reading about it here is the European Union's 750 billion euro recovery fund. I may have even touched on it in prior videos, but this is going to potentially create a lot of demand for silver. It's 30% of spending on environmental initiatives uh, and funding of other projects has to be in line with the Paris Climate Accords. Um, furthermore, the possibility that the EU could issue so-called green bonds may create a safe asset, providing a reference security for private sector green bond ins issuance. The catalyst uh, of the recent rally seems to be the fact that the world is aiming for a green recovery. Um, and silver has a wide range of industrial uses, which includes electronics and solar panels and environmentally friendly measures as such. So the demand could rise from that angle as well. And they're probably looking at it and uh, seeing the, uh, with some foresight of what's coming down the pike one way or the other, especially when the government gets involved uh, with earmarking money for environmental projects. That means that the demand for silver uh, very well could increase in that kind of environment. You know, silver, um, its versatility as a commodity and as an industrial metal is something uh, that uh, most of us in this community usually balk at, but it could work to our advantage for those of us who are have been aching for higher prices for some time. Now, obviously, you know, in retrospect, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Many of us wish we would have bought more when it was 14 or 15 16 and even $17 an ounce. Um, and we wish we would have bought more when the premiums were a lot lower. But nonetheless, there are also those of us who have changed strategies a bit, myself included. My strategy has not changed, and I'm accumulating more uh, gold than silver these days um, for a myriad of different reasons, um, uh, the least of which right now is financial um, as far as um, – you know, based off of where I think the price is going or fear of missing out or that type of thing. Um, some of it has to do with storage and, and other reasons. In some ways, some of us feel like we have enough of one and need the other. I'm sorely lacking in the gold department. 
and heavy on the silver side. And so I'm trying to, and have been for the last uh, three or four years here, accumulating more gold than silver. But notwithstanding, um, opportunities can arise with silver. And uh, those who are uh, uh, accumulating the metal uh, should celebrate. And I think that this initiative, this green initiative, uh, this payout by the European Union, I think is, is proof positive that um, this could set in place a uh, reliable uh, source of uh, demand for the metal, which could in turn affect the, uh, the prices, especially with these bonds that they're t- talking about, a safe asset, which could be tied to silver. Um, and the demand for other um, uh, resources and materials that would be utilized in this particular cause. So uh, this is the, the volatility uh, is derived from versatility in this case. And that is what is driving the prices up for now. Now, for those who believe that manipulation is a powerful force, then you have another argument uh, from the European Union side that will definitely cause... Uh, you to question if the prices go back down again. Um, and make no mistake, um, my guess is probably in due course when things calm down all around, they probably will, even if we um, still are dealing with a reeling from a massive deficit spending and increased debt. What's another five, six trillion dollars, you know, between friends, right? And uh, make no mistake, my feeling is if we were unsustainable at uh, $20, $20 trillion in debt, um, or even $15 trillion. And now we're going to be pushing $30 trillion before long, the rate things are going. Um, and But it's just a number on the screen uh, for most of the politicians out there. Or most Americans, they don't care. Because if they cared, the politicians would be talking about it uh, for sure. It's only you and me that is concerned about the debt and deficit spending and where the dollar is going to go and or how long it will last through this. But make no mistake, the dollar could last quite a while. Dollar index falling, precious metals go up, other things drive it up. But I think this environmental initiative definitely could be the catalyst that keeps silver up uh, through um, uh, this particular period to the point where we may be saying, Oh, remember the days of uh, silver being below $20 an ounce. You know, there's a user here. I've got to recognize part-time preppers because for literally years he's been saying, and I have certainly echoed his sentiment and agree with him completely, anything under $20 silver is a bargain. And uh, we may be starting the beginning days of uh, recognizing that reality based off of this news. Now, that's all. this is all speculative. I could be completely wrong on this as far as how this far this lasts. You know, will this uh, recovery fund actually pan out uh, with a euro, with all these uh, central banks creating this money out of thin air, the euro included? And they're going to they're gonna institute, you know, uh, um, you know uh, almost three quarters of a trillion euros towards this type of initiative. Um, you know, how will that go over? Will it work? Who knows? Um, there's a lot of unknowns here, but this could be a driver to keep it up until it does fail. Um, and even as such, if it's something like that were to fail, more than likely we'll have other bigger problems and, and bigger catalysts that will keep silver up. So that is fascinating news. Um, and uh, there's we're now starting to see through the wake of these higher prices some of the reasoning behind it from – uh, news sources around, uh, you know, relatively mainstream news sources. And as silver become, uh, continues to rise, we may start seeing it being talked about in mainstream media more often. Um, and uh, like gold is being talked about and, uh, as often in the mainstream uh, media. So don't lose heart. But at the same, you know, and that's one thing I say, you know, I'm obviously very cautiously optimistic with the emphasis on cautious. I remain that way, but I don't want you to lose faith either Um, uh, because silver, I believe it's a metal that sells itself. I believe it's hibernating money and continues to be that no matter what the price it is. It's obviously not used as currency. It's not traded among central bankers, but I do believe it is hibernating money. 
It does have unique properties across the spectrum. It's probably the most versatile metal out there. So there you go. Post your thoughts below. We'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment. And subscribe.